one. Today was a scorcher. That's for sure. By 2 o'clock, it was 115 degrees in the shade. I predict that tomorrow will be even hotter. Thank you, a wise one. Let's just enjoy the cool evening and not think about tomorrow's heat. Hi, guys. Was it hot today? I repeat, let's not talk about the heat. Well, it seems that the heat has something to do with quite crazy. <coughs> Hi, Polly. Are you giving me some pollinating? Yep. They sold Josh a tree for you to have new blossoms, so I'll be your help. I guess we'll go on. You're not the only one here, Hope. You and the other Pernilla mods are the only ones that can pollinate the Joshua tree. You mean without Polly there would be no Joshua trees for you to live in? That's exactly what I mean. Boys, boys, don't draw shame. All I know that all I know is without the Joshua tree, I'd have no place to sleep, no shade during the day, and nothing to hide behind during a sandstorm. That's correct. This tree is one of the few that's able to survive in the hot, dry climate of the desert. I have got to help now. If you excuse me, I have some pollinating to do. Mm -hmm. and, you excuse, and if you excuse me, I have some snoozing to do. If you need me, I'll be under my bush. I guess I'll go on straight now, hang on. It's been so hot, I haven't done a thing all day. Just keep the noise down, would you? Last night, I hardly got a wink of, wink of sleep with all that banging and rattling that you were doing. By the way, what were you doing? Just straightening out the place for everything and everything in this place. That's my motto. Motto, motto. Keep the noise down. If I didn't know better, I'd say you're afraid of the dark. Don't be silly. I just prefer to stay busy. Scrub this is who's into the earth, trying to honor and think you'll place to lie down. Dirt and dust fly into it, into the air. How do you expect me to keep things clean? You keep digging and sending them out, sending up all this dust. Boys, that's about scrubbing. Get some rest.
saying your super snakes are open. That's right, here's the answer. All I see is an old fridge that contains frog's food. And what am I supposed to do with that? I'm thinking, oh, it's poisonous. Take it up to your nest and you will see. Come on, Hulu, just try it. Hulu takes the jar in his talons and flies to his nest, and the jar begins to glow. What? Huh? What in the world is this? Surprise, it's fireflies. <coughs> they, keep your, they will keep your nest lit up all night long like a nightlight. My work is done here. If you kids have any other problems, you know where to find me. As Lily slithers back to his home under a rock, the sadness stuff is going to feel some night air. So if you are afraid of the dark at night, never do in the firefighters.